Uh, I'm sure if uh, Leo Fender had CNC machines, he would have used them. But uh, it started out as a pretty much a garage shop. They would use shapers to create the neck back shape and create the, the beginning fretboard radius. And when they were finished, they'd have to sand everything into the shape that they want. SolidWorks enables us to take many of our manual operations and put them on the CNC to take handling away so that there's less chance of damaging the material. It allows us to see what our contours are going to look like before we attempt to machine them. We don't have to guess what the things are going to look like. We can see it right there on the screen. And in the past two years, I've been designing, uh, redesigning, and uh, developing manufacturing processes for Jackson guitar within Fender, and they're a completely different type of guitar. Fender guitars are actually relatively simple to make since most everything is flat. Uh, with Jackson, I had to go to 3D. There's no way of developing fixtures on the angles in the two-dimensional world. We're developing the process, the SolidWorks model, as if we were machining from raw wood. Okay, I start out with a blank, with a rectangular blank, and we build it up in SolidWorks as we're going to manufacture it. It makes it easier to see how our, our product fits on, of our, on our tooling plates, uh, see if it's going to interfere with anything. Our custom shop people have been saying that these have, the necks have been coming out better than they've seen off the CNC's ever. We're getting to the point now where we only leave about 10 thousandths on the back shape right off the machine and they just do a quick cleanup of uh, machine marks and they're done. Anytime you can cut your setup time, you're saving lots of money. So we're pushing the issue for all of our facilities to be SolidWorks users. So we can transfer information from Mexico to California to Tacoma, Washington to uh, any of our facilities around the world.